long time ago, but I can still remember, there was, <laughs> sorry, and there was the SBRE Brown ink. You may have heard of it. You may also not have heard of it. Um, quite simply, it was an ink that I launched, and it was it, it was popular. Um, and at the time, that was all I could really do. So it, it sold out quickly. And I still got a lot of requests, even now, because this is a while ago, even now I still get a lot of requests from people who say, can you please bring back the ink? <clears throat> Sorry, the ink. Answer, yes. But in a slightly different way than before. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this. The short message of this video is the ink is relaunched. But we need to talk about a couple of things, because some things are different than the last time, okay? Let's first start with the ink. I wanted to go to a uh, an ink manufacturer of, what do you call that, known reputation. Uh, I, I don't want to mix something up myself. So the ink is made by Diamine in the UK. Uh, I have used several of their inks and I've never really had a bad experience. So I'm confident that, that they, they, they their product is, is good. That's what I went with last time. And this time I did the same thing. So it is the exact same ink as last time. Don't expect anything else. It's called SBRE Brown and it is a brown. Uh, that made sense. I think it's a nice brown. It's a sort of warm brown. And this is what, it's look like, what it looks like on camera. It's always a bit different than real life, but this gives you an impression. It has nice shading. It's maybe slightly on the orange side. I think this brown came out very well. We're going to talk about where you can get yours, um, but right now uh, the ink will be up. It will be up for sale. And I think what we did is pretty cool. Last time it was sold in bottles uh, that were 30 milliliters each. Came directly from Diamine, tiny glass bottles. This time I thought we'd do it a little bit differently. So I had a good chat with my friend Paul uh, from Ackermann. And he said, why don't we take your ink and put it in one of our bottles? Now, given that these are pretty much the coolest ink bottles on the planet, as far as I'm concerned, I said, why not? So here we go. And it's not just any ink bottle. It is the Dutch Master ink bottle. It has a weird collar. That's just for the bottle. I mean, for the, for the box and the shipping. This is what you get. If you purchase my ink now, this is what you get. So you get one of the Dutch Master's bottles, uh, which I think are really quite neat. Um, there is a marble in the neck of the bottle. This is a very slow process, but I'm just going to drain it a little bit. Um, and what it does is very simple. You have a nice large ink reservoir, uh, which is down right there. I can see there is a little bit of space up there. Uh, what you do is you just turn the bottle over when it's capped. Then you turn it back up and then you unscrew it. You have to be careful because uh, there's going to be a lot of ink in there, so I'm actually draining a little bit because I'm kind of balancing in front of the camera here. You open it up, the ink is caught in the neck of the bottle. You carefully put in your pen, careful because there's a glass marble, you don't want to bend your nib, so just stick it in carefully, you can ink up your pen. All right, so this is what you get. You get the Dutch Master's bottle because I'm a Dutch Master. Um, I actually thought about that, but it's true, because I was born in the Netherlands and I have a Master of Science degree, so I am actually, literally, a Dutch master. Now, that aside, what do you get? The bottle? The bottle is a lot more ink than last time, because last time it was 30 milliliters. Completely different bottle now. This is a good 120 milliliters. So that's a lot, right? Four times as much. And that's, that's four ounces for my friends who, who use uh, that system. Um, that also means that you get a lot more ink in this than you get in the regular Ackermann bottle, because those are 60 milliliters. So it's, it's really a large quantity of ink. Is it a quantity or an amount? Anyway, it's a lot of ink. Let's put it that way. The price of these will be the same as on the regular Dutch Masters, because that's only fair. Uh, and I, I think that's uh, that's a good idea, uh, and that means that they currently sell for 23 euros and 50 cents. If you are not in Europe, uh, then you you don't have to pay the 21% VAT. So it is the 23.50 minus the VAT. Um, I can see how some people would say that's pretty expensive. Uh, yeah, 
okay, I, I uh, no no arguing there. But don't forget, it is also a lot of ink, right? Uh, so I, I I personally don't think the 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 price is terrible. But of course, it's up to you. Where to get it? Well, oh, come on. Um, I will put a link in the description of the video so that you can click that and see where you can uh, where you can purchase it. I'm also talking to some friends in the US who have a pen shop. Uh, maybe they can do something and then there could be some US distribution, but at this point that's unclear. So I'm sorry, I don't know. Keep an eye on my Twitter feed, Instagram, etc., Facebook, because I, if they do start to actually carry it, then I, I will let you know and then you can order straight from the US, which might be easy for US or maybe Canadian citizens. Final thing I wanted to say was, this is an initial run. I'm not calling this a limited edition ink because it's not a limited edition. It's been there before in different bottles. Now it's in these bottles. Um, with the amount of ink I purchased, we could make about 150 bottles. At this point, when those 150 bottles are out, I don't know what's going to happen. If it takes 15 years for the 150 bottles to sell, then that's probably going to be it. If they sell out very quickly, we may do another run. So there is, I mean, if you really want it, you'll have to get it soon, I guess. Uh, but I can't predict how this will go down, so to speak. Last time they sold out in five days. So it's possible that that will happen again. I'll keep you posted, etc. One thing about Akamon now, I'm recording this in December. Uh, it is possible that you, I mean, you can place orders, you, you can do all that, uh, they're great people. Um, it's possible the bottles will only be sent out in January. That's the way it is peak time, December, etc. So, sorry. If you order it now, maybe consider it sort of like a pre-order, but you should be getting your bottle anyway. It may just take a little bit longer. In a way, I think it's also nice. Uh, post uh, agencies all over the world are super busy. A lot of things get delayed, so maybe it is smart to actually only send them in January. And that's it. So, initial run, cool bottle, I think. Uh, it's my ink. But of course you need to see it, and I know you, you, you should see it, so I'm going to now do some writing samples. Let's see if you like it. If you want one, grab it. I strongly appreciate it. Um, I hope people like this color. They seemed to like it last time, so I hope, I hope this uh, will also help out some people who really wanted to buy the ink but, but missed out on it the first run. And that's all there's to it. Writing sample, coming up now. Paul, thank you because it's because of you that we were able to get this collaboration going. I think it's super cool. I'm super excited to have my ink in, in these amazing bottles. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really excited and, and thanks for that opportunity. Let's write. Okay, so here we go with SBRE Brown. I'm just going to go through a couple of nibs, um, starting with a fine nib. Of course, in a, uh, a fine nib, um, you wouldn't get the, uh, the, the, the necessarily the best shading in the world, typically, just because it's such a fine line. But this should give you an idea of the, the color. Uh, as I said, it's a, um, a warm brown color. Quite nice. This is also a pretty stiff, uh, fine nib, so the, the, there really isn't that much in, in way of shading. And yet, I do think you can actually see some uh, some shading, but you'll see it more, of course, uh, when we have uh, some broader nibs uh, like this. This is a medium nib. I'll try to zoom in on the uh, on the shading a bit more uh, when uh, when I'm done here. Let's look at a broad nib. Weird. Suddenly it, it leaks. Uh, this is a uh, Mike Masayama tune nib. Very very smooth. Very nice. Um, which I, I, I kind of wanted to use on purpose because it is an actual broad nib. Um, so you can see what that what it looks like in that uh, type of nib. Uh, what I really like uh, is the um, the shading 
that the, the, the ink offers. As you can see, for example, in the A here, there is a nice, very light brown to a darker brown, but it's not a, a super dark brown to begin with. So I, I really enjoy this, uh, this shade of ink. Okay, now the nib I have uh, here is on the Armando Simoni Club. The reason I want to use this is it's it's not really specified whether it's fine or, or medium or something. It's a um, uh, sort of one size fits all, uh, but it's also springy. Uh, it's called Magic Flex. So here I have another nib. I would call this a good fine, but I want to show you what it's like when you uh, when you flex a bit. Because, of course, people, I know you all like flex. Uh, and you, you do get some nice uh, line variation out of this. Uh, and not just that, but of course, given this ink, uh, I do think you, you get a nice shading. I'll try to zoom in a bit on this too. Uh, there will be pictures of this on the website so you can you can see it in, in high resolution and uh, still, not, not just the video is always a bit difficult, lighting and such. Um, but just to give you an idea, uh, it's also a fairly uh, wet ink, as you can see there. Okay, and then finally, I inked up this. Here we have a, um, <coughs> pardon me, a uh, Denitrio. This is a stub nib. So, for those of you who like stubs, uh, this is what you could expect in a wider uh, stub. I am obviously biased because I had this ink made to my specification, uh, so it would be strange if I wouldn't like it. I think what Diamine managed to do is um, create a nicely shading brown that's not too dark, it's not too light. As you can see, it's very legible on the paper. Uh, I really like it. So I hope so do you. Those of you who, uh, uh, who will buy it, thanks a lot. I, I really appreciate it. Um, and um, of course, if you don't like it, that's perfectly fine too. Um, I hope this was useful. I, I hope that those of you who missed out the first time will now be able to get this and uh, uh, hopefully that will uh, that'll be nice for people. Okay, so hope this was useful and I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.